Let's see what Riddler's little gift is all about. Solve my puzzle soon, or people will get hurt. Uh, Riddler's M.O. hasn't changed in all these years. There's writing engraved along the rim. I have an eye, yet cannot see. Who am I? That sounds familiar. I've heard it before. Don't happen to remember the answer, do you? Sadly, no. Justice. How it relates to Batman, maybe. Lady Justice is blindfolded to show she's impartial. She has two eyes under the blindfold, though. Not one. So it's something else. The eye of a needle. But how does that relate to the object in question? Maybe it's telling us how to use it. Uh, sounds very plausible. Look at these strange grooves. A record needle. Halfway there, Batman. Means you've got half a chance of stopping a whole lot of pain. To be honest, you're already doing better than I thought. But don't sit around feeling pleased with yourself. Unless you want to see me tear this city apart. I suppose you're going to look in there. An open invitation from the Riddler? Of course. Huh. Looks like I'm manipulating radio bands or waveforms. Something. I'm not sure what I'm looking at or how any of it is actually displaying. And that sound? What? Oh, uh... I'm not really sure about any of it. Get Lucius on the line, will you? Alfred. Good morning, Lucius. I hope we're not interrupting your breakfast. My youngest is probably stealing all the bacon, but duty calls. What's up? This is a puzzle from the Riddler. There's a strange waveform pattern I can manipulate inside that needs your expertise. I, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I can meet you at Wayne Tower in a little bit. We'll, uh, fire up the R&D lab. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important, Lucius. No, no, don't worry about it. It's actually gonna be a big day for me. Tiffany starts at Wayne Enterprises. Tiffany? Really? Your daughter, working alongside you. How wonderful. Uh, certainly is. Bruce, I'll see you soon. Bye, Lucius. Can't wait to see Tiffany. I'll be at Wayne Tower. hunting Bruce.
Oh, excellent. Glad I caught you. I have some good news to share. Good to hear it, Regina. It's what I've come to expect, with you as Wayne Enterprises chairperson. I just talked to the board, and our stock price has doubled since you took the company back from Oswald Cobblepot. The Gazette's running a piece about it. Look, I would love to hear all the details, but I've got a meeting with Lucius I've got to run to. Well, I don't mean to pry, but what's in that case? Seems like an odd thing to be carrying around the office. Oh, just some tax papers. Accounting is doing an audit or something. Well, you shouldn't have to be burdened with that. I can take them. It's okay. I got it. Well, I've got a meeting I've got to run to. We'll pick up this conversation this afternoon. Sounds great. You're in my chair. Just updating the encryption on your bat tech. But if you want me to stop... No, no, the seat is all yours. This is the thing you were talking about? One of Riddler's puzzles. Some kind of test. Show me. Huh. Any idea what he's planning? Not yet. That's why I need your help. If his history is anything to go by, he left us a clue. A psychological profile of Riddler. Uh, knowing how his mind works, this should come in handy. No sign of explosives or poison. Already scanned for that in the cave. Huh. Well, would you look at that? Micropulse waveform. Ah, and the sound it's giving off. A signal, maybe? <laughs> I couldn't decipher it. I was hoping you could help with that. I'll see what I can do. Shouldn't take long. What in the... It's not one of mine. Think fast. <laughs> Too slow. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Tiffany. Hey, Bruce. T my God, Tiffany. It's been a while. Sneaking out of orientation your first day? I just wanted to say hi to my new boss. I got you a present. A micro drone prototype I developed in my spare time. High-end AV, stealth black shell, programmable for autonomous observation. Small, quiet, and super smart. Just like its designer. Not bad, huh? You always had a thing for toys. So hard to know what to get a man who has everything. So I made you some tech the government would be jealous of. I love it. Thanks, Tiffany. Well, I guess it's not bad. Not bad. See what I had to deal with growing up? Huh. There's something different about you. Uh, there is? I can't quite put my finger on it. But you look... You look... You look... Like, uh, someone who needs another four hours of sleep? That's because you work too hard. Oh, that's rich. Coming from a man who pretty much lives in his lab. Interesting. Don't. Too late. Already touching. Just be careful. What a strange thing. The circuitry design. It's elaborate and unorthodox. Almost intentionally so. Like, whoever put it together was kind of showing off. Huh. Micro pulse waves? It's just weird. Seriously, what is this thing? I've never seen anything like it. It's like whoever made it. Well, something your dad has been working on. Lucius, care to explain? Oh, it's nothing. Just an old piece of tech that found its way into my lab. But what does it do? That's what we're trying to work out. You guys are lucky I'm here to help. Uh, help with... Figure this freakish thing out. Uh, Tiffany did graduate first in her class at Cornell in molecular engineering. Let me take a crack at it. I can help you get to the bottom of this. Figure out what it does. But why don't you get through your first day before moving on to something so... advanced. 
advanced. Whatever. I've got to get back to orientation anyway. Have fun scratching your heads. All right then. Time to crack this puzzle. I never told her, you know. Told her what I really do at Wayne Enterprises. What uh, we do. I understand your hesitation about involving her in this Riddler business. But uh, you should consider bringing Tiffany into the fold. Into the mission. If not now, then in the future. We're going to need help. If we're going to be dealing with the likes of Riddler. You know how dangerous our business is. I couldn't live with myself if something happened to Tiffany. I'm just gonna have to say no. It's your secret to tell. Yes, it is. May I just say, uh, burdens are lighter when carried by many. Well, shall we go down to the lab? Actually, the equipment we need is down in my office. We'll get this taken care of in no time. Mr. Wayne. Uh, yes? I'm Special Agent Avesta. This is my partner, Special Agent Blake. Uh, well, I guess I'll see you in a bit. I'll be down in my office. Whenever you, uh, get down here? I'll be down in a few. No worries. I'll, uh, start without you. Sorry for the unannounced visit. We're with the Agency's Behavioral Analysis Unit. We just came by to ask a few questions. I sure hope I'm not in any trouble. Oh, everyone's in some amount of trouble. <laughs> it's my job to find out just how much. This office, it really represents you. Well, I'd like to think so. Is this you? Yeah. How old? I don't know, seven, eight, maybe? <laughs> so happy. After everything you've been through, I don't know how you still do it. Do what, exactly? It wasn't long ago when you were the most hated man in Gotham. Yet you still give so much back to the city. Why do you continue to help Gotham? Most people wouldn't be so charitable after that. My father did a lot of damage to a lot of people. I'm just trying to make things right. Thomas Wayne did cast a long, dark shadow. It must be difficult to get out from under it. What, uh, what is it you want? The agency recently brought me in to draft a psychological portrait of the Riddler. We've been tracking him for months, but haven't been able to find him. Anything I can help with? See, I told you he'd be cooperative. Agent Blake thought you'd be cagey, defensive, based on your history. Guess he was wrong. My, uh, my history? A lot of things happened to you last year, and not all of them were good. You put yourself at risk when you helped bring in your friend Harvey Dent. He was a violent psychotic at the time, almost destroyed the city. Come to think of it, you've been associated with quite a few psychopaths over the years. I wouldn't go that far. I would. The criminally insane, they seem drawn to you. Either that, or you're often in the wrong place at the wrong time. They're not attracted to me any more than the average citizen. We live in one of the most dangerous cities in the world, right? Stands to reason I'd run into a few psychos. Like this guy. I think you'd know him as John Doe. We understand that it was during your stay in Arkham where you and John met and became friends. From the sound of it, you two were close. John may very well say that, yes. But not you. A conversation in a mental hospital does not make us friends, much less close. I see. According to hospital records, you and John were involved in a riot. They captured the whole incident on video. 
I saw you flee after John cut another inmate, a man named Victor Zaz. Several people were hurt. I got out of there as fast as I could. I don't blame you. You must have been scared. John was discharged from Arkham months ago. No one has seen or heard from him since. I was thinking maybe you have. <laughs> Why would you think that? He listed you as his emergency contact. Oh, sounds like you two were pretty close to me. Okay, now I'm a little creeped out. I knew him for, what, a day? Maybe you made an impression on him. Well, I haven't seen or heard from him, so... Did he do something wrong? He's a person of interest. You see, we've got a wall in the office with a bunch of photos pinned to it. Two-Face, Penguin, Lady Arkham, you know, Gotham's most notorious. They've got all these little strings connecting them to one another, like a web. And you, my friend, are at the center. You keep pretty strange company for someone who wants everyone to think they're such a stand-up guy. Every association you've made so far has been investigated by the authorities or covered by the press. I have nothing to hide. <laughs> All you do is hide. Hide behind the press, behind your money, your power. I think it's all an elaborate mask. You know more than you're letting on, Mr. Wayne. Maybe you're afraid. Maybe you don't trust us. Or maybe you're a criminal, like your father. Maybe you're not the hero people think you are. <laughs> You've got the wrong idea. That's an evacuation warning. It's time for you to leave. We'll pick this up another time. Bruce, get my daughter out of the building. Get yourself out. What are you talking? What did you figure out? I've, I've solved the Riddler's puzzle, Bruce. Uh, Riddler really pulled a good one over on us. Lucius, please tell me what's wrong. Tell Tiffany that I love her. That I'm sorry I wasn't around more. Lucius! We really made a difference, didn't we, Batman? Lucius! One killed and 14 injured after a tragic explosion. The GCPD is opening an investigation into what they are calling an industrial accident. Wayne Enterprises Chief Technology Officer Lucius Fox died last Tuesday in the violent blast. A small service is being held for the tech giant and father of three at Divinity Church this Sunday. You don't have to worry, Lucius. Tiffany... I'm gonna take care of your family. As if they were my own. Just like Lucius took care of you. Lucius helped raise you, Bruce. It was family. Riddler's attack on the casino was one thing. But this... This is personal. We can't let him get away with it. Riddler struck at the heart of our operations and tore a family apart in the process. Don't worry, Al. I will find him and bring him to justice. He will spend the rest of his life behind bars. I'm glad to see your sense of duty still reigns supreme. Of course, it won't bring poor Lucius back. I can't imagine how devastated she must be to lose her father in such a violent way. <laughs> I should go talk to her. Yes, she can use all the support she can get. <laughs> I 
Hey, <laughs> Tiffany. I still can't believe he's gone. None of this. None of this feels real. Your dad was like family to me. If there's anything I can do, anything at all, please let me know. <sighs> Thanks, Bruce. I appreciate it. He loved working for you, you know? They hardly saw him at home because of it. Mom used to complain my little brother was growing up without a dad. Now I guess it's true. He was so busy. I can't remember the last time I got to hang out with him. Just father and daughter. I just thought there'd be more time. There were so many things I wanted to talk to him about. So much wisdom in that goofy head of his. I asked a lot of him. Maybe too much. And he gave it all, didn't he? A real company man. Well, I hope it was worth it. <sighs> Tiffany. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't blame you. <laughs> hey, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Just let it out. I'm just trying to wrap my head around it all. I saw his remains, Bruce. There, there was hardly anything left. What were you guys working on that could have caused that? It, it doesn't quite add up. Please tell me. For my own sanity. Nothing out of the ordinary. Just normal corporate R&D stuff. An explosion that size. In my dad's lab, maybe, but not in his office. I know a cover story when I hear one. And I am not that same gullible little girl who believed your ghost stories when I was six. Fine. Just tell me one thing. That weird disc. You were trying to keep me away from it. Was that what killed him? Did you put my father's life at risk for that? I'm begging you. Just tell me that one thing. I need to know. How... How can you even ask me that? You have to believe me. I would never put Lucius in harm's way. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. It's just... I'm so angry. I just don't know who to blame. I miss him so much. Service is starting. You should go be with your family. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Bruce. All be grateful. You... you knew my father. Well, no, but judging by all the lovely people... Hey, hey, how about giving Tiffany some space? Huh? Bruce! <laughs> Buddy! It's good to see you. Come on, man, she's been through a lot. You're absolutely right. Enjoy the rest of your day.
I, mean, I know it's a closed casket, but uh, I can see by the genes. Uh, your friend was a looker, huh? Why are you here, John? I told you I'd see you again, didn't I? You and me, we're two threads in the same stitch. Look, I, I, I got you a little something just, just to mark the occasion. I knew you'd be hurting, see? I thought it might make you feel better. You think this is funny? My friend is dead. Oh, I got it wrong, didn't I? Damn it! Hey, keep it down. You gotta be quiet as church mice, right? <sighs> it hasn't, um... It hasn't been easy for me out here, you know? I'm the new guy now. It's the freedom that gets to you. There's so damn much you hardly know what to do with it. <laughs> it's not like Arkham. Sometimes I miss those padded walls. You knew where the lines were drawn. Which one's not to cross? <laughs> you can't possibly mean that, Ed. Arkham is hell. It was my home, Bruce. And home is where the heart is. I'm almost sorry that I convinced Dr. Leland to release me. If everyone could please take their seats, uh, we will begin. Would you just sit down? Today we gather to honor the memory of Lucius Fox. He was a friend, a father, a husband, a leader. You are crashing my friend's funeral, John. You better have a good reason. Oh, I do. I need that uh, favor you owe me. You know, you, you might have been a little reluctant at the time, but if it wasn't for me, you'd still be in Arkham. Sleeping off your meds in the rec room with Zaz. You're, you're gonna do right by me, aren't you? I know you're a man of your word. I never made that promise. I got into a lot of trouble for what we did, Bruce. You saw that place, saw those doctors. Matthew tells us. You see, I met some inspiring people out here, made some new friends, made a kind of pact. They're amazing, Bruce, that special breed who live by their own rules. They remind me of you, of your father. So who are they? You'll find out when you meet them. They're looking to bring someone like you into the fold. I mean, you, you will meet them for me, won't you? Please? I've, I've got a lot riding on this. I already told them you would. Please don't let me down. Not a chance, John. I don't know what you're mixed up in, but I am not getting involved. <sighs> Disappointing. <laughs> You know, I spoke so highly of you. I told them you'd fit right in. She just makes me want, I don't know, lash out. Shh. Shh. We're here to mourn. Please, you trust me again. You'll be mourning the loss of your teeth. How dare you? Just tell him you're sorry and let it go. He's very sorry. We both are. I am. I'm, I'm sorry. You should be allowed to enjoy the funeral in peace. Hmm. Sorry, Bruce, that outburst, it, it's antisocial, I know. Dr. Leland says I have a hard time handling rejection. 
I think it's the stress. You see, I've got this enemy. Real piece of work. Calls himself the Riddler. How do you know the Riddler? Know him? I want to rip his eyeballs out. He's a thief and a killer. And worst of all, he's... He's rude. I tried to let the authorities know the kind of lowlife they're dealing with, but... Wait a minute, you know him too. Of course, a man of Bruce Wayne's caliber knows everyone. I shouldn't be surprised. Not your usual crowd, though. Or so I thought. Uh, just from the news. The guy's clearly a murderer, sick in the head. Don't know the half of it. If I had my way, that smarmy know-it-all would never leave his hole. You mean his hole? You know where he is. No, no, not exactly, no. Maybe I said too much. Tell me where he is. I am not messing around, Sean. Oh, Bruce, I missed your fire. I really did. <laughs>